Hey guys, just a little update from Redneck Manufacturing. Welcome to 2017. We finally got our computer up and running. That's why I'm posting this video. A couple of things that we got going on around here. Well, we got some furniture loaded up in the dump trailer that we're taking over to a relative's house, as well as uh, we've got this truck pretty much mounted and we're working on it now. So that's one of the projects that we got going on. Man, 2017 is definitely starting out on the wrong foot. Pup Pup Gringo is in the hospital as we speak. Uh, we're not sure what he had. We called him on the phone at four o'clock, called him back at six o'clock. He didn't remember anything that we told him on the phone at four o'clock. He said that he didn't feel right. He had sweats, he had shakes. So uh, we called 911, got him to the hospital and they're doing blood work and all kind of CAT scans, everything else. 2017, well, I guess it did start out pretty good. We found a uh, cobalt box, good price, a lot bigger than the uh, Craftsman box that we did have, so I guess that's an upgrade. They say that uh, YouTube is 90% content. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's about 75% content. The other 25% is computer. We got our uh, 360 camera for Christmas, and uh, you know, we messed with it, and I'm kind of OCD. If it doesn't work 100%, I want to figure it out, know why it doesn't work 100%. And in the process, we tried to make all kinds of changes to the computer, crashed the computer, tried to restore it from the uh, partitioned hard drive on the HP computer. That didn't work either. I don't know if we had a uh, virus in there or what, but it locked up. I had to unplug it. Upon unplugging it, we corrupted some files lost the whole boot system so that's why i haven't been posting any videos for all the guys that uh posted comments on my redneck uh exhaust fix guys that was a joke man i, I just did that for content on youtube i know that uh diesels don't have spark plugs and i also know that electrical tape isn't going to last on exhaust systems so wanted to clarify that i've been having a lot of fun with it as far as comments Guys, welcome to 2017 Redneck Manufacturing. We are over 500 subscribers. Hopefully we'll get to 1,000. And as I announced in, uh, I believe, the live feed that I posted a week ago, when we get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away an action camera. So get ready for that. That's coming. It's Friday the 13th. It is a full moon. Bro, if anybody's scared of that, then uh, you need to go on a Saturday the 14th. But we'll get there eventually. And if you survive the 13th, you'll definitely be there. Thank you so much. We got videos coming up about that and uh, really nothing to post about that. We did do one honeydew project. The honeydew project was a sliding door and uh, I'll tell you what, as soon as I get done here, we're going to walk in the house and I'm just, we didn't document it as we built it. Uh, me and my wife had another project. We do little projects here and there uh, as far as wood. Got a kick-ass table saw for Christmas. so. Uh, I'm going to shut the camera off We'll walk in the house. I'll show you that sliding door that me and my wife made. Pretty neat project. Turned out a lot neater than what I thought. All right, guys. So this is our foyer area. And if uh, anybody watched the video prior, uh, me and my wife, we built this here. It's a coat rack, a shoe thing, and it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Now it's just a uh, basket holder. But uh, yeah, kind of country looking and this is really cool guys uh she bought this uh hardware on i believe it was amazon um got the handle at lowe's and this is plywood and it, it is stained and i really think it turned out cool i'm going to get a little close up on that you know it looks naughty it looks fine and you know it's pretty cool so there's the door up close there's the hardware let's tilt the camera up a little bit we'll get a little closer so uh, now let's show you what this thing does. So it just slides open. And there you have it. The hardware came with stops. So it stops it there. And then as you slide it across, it stops it there as well. Not sure what the manufacturer was thinking. They have these holes, which are the factory holes. They're drilled 20 inches on center. Well, anybody that has ever worked construction knows that centers on studs are 16 inches. So that did not work out for us. We had to go ahead and drill our own holes where the studs were, and uh, we left the other holes open. But overall, man, this thing is just cool as everything. I think it turned out real nice. This is our foyer area. 
and a uh, real nice accent that that is our laundry room behind there um, and that is manufactured plywood with a uh, composite face on there pressed to make it look like it's barn wood and then uh, we trimmed it out with some one by four pine to keep the knotty look going my wife bought the handle at Lowe's we got the roller assembly off of uh, I believe it was Amazon